Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't even do anything yet. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I would like to start out by saying I'm sorry to my English teachers and public speaking teacher, Mrs. Best, for probably letting you down in the speech because it's not going to be the most well-written speech you've heard and it's not the vocabulary of Lauren Arrington. <laughs> you all are great teachers, English is just not my best subject. First off, I would like to say that it's my privilege to be speaking in front of the best class in all TKA history. All of you guys are so individually gifted at many things and are a blast to be around. Now, I love when everyone says that your time at King's goes by so fast. What are they talking about? <laughs> it seems like everyone forgets all the grueling hours that we put into our work and then come and say at graduation, your time flies by so fast. <laughs> well, it doesn't. <laughs> all jokes aside, we're done with the first stage of our lives. We completed high school. We completed high school, we got the recognition, we got into college, hopefully, and are ready to close the first chapter of our lives. So what now? How do we achieve more? How do we become successful? How do we build a happy family? The list goes on, but there really is no answer. The only one thing that I can point to is times of waiting, times of struggle, depression, and anxiety. In life, we're not promised a lot of things, but we are promised trials and tribulations. And for me, I think to myself, okay, God, what's going on? But those are, times that speak our, those are the times that speak to how we are to conduct ourselves. When we're faced with these inevitable struggles, something that I heard continuously, something that I have to continuously remind me of myself is that earth is not my home. This earth is not my home. The devil will deceive you into thinking that where we are is our home. One of my favorite verses comes from Hebrews eleven sixteen, and it says, but as it is, they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared for them a city. Someone who modeled this for me was my mom. To anyone who knew her, you were better because of her. After a long battle with cancer, she went to her real home. And about a month before she passed, she said something that sticks with me every day. She said, I'm afraid that I haven't brought enough people to Christ. Many times as Christians, we wonder what our purpose in life is. At some points in our life, life is fun, exciting, adventurous, unknown. But sometimes life feels uninspired, dull, lazy, and dreary. We tend to overthink and analyze too much but our purpose is very clear, and that is to lead others to Christ. We were put on this earth to, so, to show people Jesus. To those of us who have encountered and have a relationship with Jesus, it's overwhelming. We need to share this with people. The scariest part about life is that it doesn't matter whether you love someone or not, if they don't know God, we won't see them in eternity. So I beg of you, Continue to walk in the Lord and show others our God. Christians get such a bad rep nowadays and we can be the people to change it. Many great philosophers speak on how we are to walk in the Lord. You may recognize this bit of literature that I'm about to read by a very eloquent duo, Migos and Drake. They say, walk it like I talk it, walk it, walk it like I talk it. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. But seriously, we need to show people Jesus through our actions and not our words. I'm so blessed to have attended such an amazing school for all these years and thankful for all the memories that will go with me for the rest of my life. Also, I had to say this before I ended my time at King's. I would like to know and talk to whoever the judges were the year of the ninth grade Newsies skit when we got second place, second place. That's trash. I'm done. <laughs>